This month, while many of the tennis world were gathering in Monte Carlo, on the other side of the Atlantic, the Sarasota Tennis Open was in full swing. Part of the ever-growing ATP Challenger Tour, the popularity of the competition in Florida and its illustrious list of former winners offers an indication of the giant strides the Tour has taken in the past year. Yeah, it was a really important win for me, uh, winning here, because I was, uh, I think I was injured, and when I come back, I just think this was the first couple of tournaments, and this win, you know, uh, made me a lot of confidence, and uh, great to, to win uh, my hometown uh, uh, challenger tournament here. I think we run a good tournament, so the players want to come. Obviously, we're a great destination. Sarasota is a beautiful city. Um, the players like to come here for the beach. Uh, we built two new stadiums for this tournament, looking to do something more permanent in the future um, for next year. Um, the players have really liked it. Spectators have really liked it. So we're very happy. It's where the players learn their trade, and for many, lays the foundation for a successful career. The ATP Challenger Tour plays a vital role in the world of men's professional tennis. So often, it's the springboard to the very top. Well, a very important step to, towards the highest uh, level of, of professional tennis is, is Challenger Tour. It's kind of a middle zone, you know, between future level and the highest level of 250s, 500s, thousands and Grand Slams. It's, it's the Challenger level where you can actually find out where your game is and, and see how, how far you can go. That's, that's probably the most, the hardest step in the, in the process of the involvement of a, of a tennis player to overcome. It's, it's a, in a way an icebreaker. I think the challenger is, is good to have to let the player before going to the ATP Tour they, they can build up the, the, uh, the ranking, you know, build up their game and also build up their experience to, to start to play better. It's good uh, assistance, challenger tournaments to helping uh, the young player or also to maintain this, uh, the tour to, to get in, uh, healthy and stronger. Running parallel to the ATP World Tour, each year the ATP Challenger Tour travels to 40 countries and stages 150 tournaments, culminating much like the regular tour with the ATP Challenger Tour Finals. Two years ago they introduced the Master of the Challenger and I think it's for the, the people that maybe, I mean somebody play all the years Challenger, it's okay. For sure it's good because I mean, if you play good, you have another opportunity to play better and you have, uh, you have to play with the best eight on the Challenger Tour. Each tournament provides vital ranking points and prize money, giving players a chance to propel their career forwards. It's not easy, though. Competition at this level is tough as players try to break through. Of course, now it's, uh, it's very difficult now to, to win this, uh, this kind of tournament. It's very huge now, it's very difficult to to win, as I said, but it's, uh, it's important. Now the challenge is getting stronger and stronger, you, if you can see, because many people, many guys using the challenger to kind of practice in, to kind of find the, their game. Of course, some players, maybe they're high ranking, they go down to play the one or two challenger a year. So, I mean, this is kind of getting stronger. Remember, uh, my matches during Futures level and the Challengers level, they are really, really tough because everyone knows they're fighting for uh, his life. Everyone uh, knows they have to win a lot of matches to get to top 100. It's really not easy. You have to play uh, all year. You have to stay healthy. So the level of tennis is really extremely, extremely high right now. And those who've made it to the top acknowledge the huge debt they owe the ATP Challenger Tour. I mean, everybody for sure start slowly. And when I was young, I was playing Satellite, then Future, then Challenger. Ten years ago, when I was making my way through to the top 100, it was, uh, I felt like something that is uh, uh, shaping up your character, uh, allowing you to, to grow mentally and prepare yourself for, the, for that highest level. I think uh, I won 10 of them in my, uh, when I was younger, but uh, yeah, it's, everybody needs to play this kind of tournament to, to grow up and uh, to play better. And it's a great moment, I remember many moments on, on that tour and uh, it was nice. The ATP Challenger Tour is growing in popularity all the time. Find out more at atpchallengertour.com and catch free live streaming of the weekly tournaments.
The challenge is on. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, three times the fun, we spotlight events in Munich, Estoril and Istanbul. And bouncing back from the brink, we speak to Janko Tipsarovic as he continues his comeback from serious injury. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.